late last year. Uh, yeah, there's the map. Uh, this is going to be uh, the basis for the trials of the realm. So go ahead and uh, explain a little bit to everyone out there. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if we uh, had planned to go in game, but I would love to if we can. Um, maybe Anthony can see if it's actually set up. We are kind of finishing uh, and polishing some work before we get into PTS, so don't uh, criticize some of the smaller issues that you may see. But at a high level, um, we are doing away with what you understand and know about challenges for uh, battle passes in the new event pass moving forward. Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, awesome. Heck yeah. So the previous, the previous system of challenges where you, know, you got the battle pass and you had 60 challenges, has gone away where they only awarded XP. Um, now we are actually going to have a new system called Trials of the Realm that is going to come along with every event pass. Um, now, mm -hmm. if we go back to the the beginning of the page, you'll see that there are eight regions that represent uh, iconic regions uh, in the Paladin's world. Um, these will not all be unlocked at the start of an event pass. Every single week, um, one new region will unlock. And so at the start of patch three's release, we will only have trade role available. Um, and so we want to do a couple things here. We really wanted players to uh, progress challenges, I think, in a, in a more interesting, fun, and engaging way with our world map and lore, which is something that we want to continue to explore throughout 2021. So if we dive into trade row here, pretend the others are uh, locked for now and that this is week one, uh, players will have access to the trade row uh, challenge hub, which contains three iconic uh, locations from the Paladin's uh, realm, the the Paladin's realm, uh, Paladin's lore. Some of them are maps. Some of them are um, <laughs> are, are just some other iconic locations, like the Ruby Throne, uh, where Leon reigns. Uh, and players will have three challenge hubs to complete in each region, which contain five individual challenges. Um, players will only have access to two challenge hubs at a single time. Um, which is not properly displayed here, but you will actually have two tickets at the start of each patch, which are going to be shown on the bottom there. Um, and then every time you complete a challenge hub, you get a new ticket. So you think can, can then go and unlock a new challenge hub. So you'll unlock a challenge hub, and then it will contain five challenges for you to complete. Uh, and every single set of challenges has their own reward tied to it. And so... We have got a lot of secondary cosmetic content, so sprays, avatars, 3D sprays as well. Um, you'll also find crystals and game on event pass levels. Uh, so if you are a player who maybe is not interested in game on levels because you have uh, grinded out the first uh, week of the, the new patch and you want to focus on unlocking you know, secondary content or, or crystals, you can actually target which rewards you want to focus on. And so these will not relock, I guess, um, each week. This is something that every week a new set of three locations and challenge hubs actually unlocks. So if you don't touch the game um, on a patch cycle until week seven or week eight, you can come in and actually still go back and complete every single challenge that had been released for that event pass. Um, and then so every every event pass, once again, like we're going to have new rewards, something that we're gonna get, going to be experimenting with over time. Um, but most of it right now is secondary content. And for currency, it's, it's primarily crystal. So there will be, I believe it is 300, uh, if I recall, crystals um, contained yes. in, in every um, Trials of the Realm, uh, new Trials of the Realm for each event pass. Yeah, uh, right here, the information that I have says 300 total crystals, 7 uh, total game on event pass levels, uh, 60,000 total gold, as well as uh, I believe there's 4 avatars, 6 sprays, and 1 MVP pose for this one as rewards that you'll be able to get. And you can probably see those in the update notes, like if you physically want to see them, I believe the avatars and sprays are listed, folks. Uh, the MVP pose is for Maldamba, so also really exciting that you can get all this kind of stuff from here as well. Uh, so just new ways to get, uh, content that is, you know, also new and exciting. And as you see, like, it looks like they're going to be themed around whatever each event pass is as well to tie into them. So it, it's, it's a way for all kind of players to kind of get involved and, uh, have some more stuff to do and a more fun and engaging way, I think, to do challenges in the game.
Yeah, so. and it feels like a journey, right? It feels like you're going somewhere. That's what I appreciate. I like to walk and see new things. Thank you, paladins. Yeah, thank you, paladins. Not a or <laughs> Alex. Yeah, thanks, paladins. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, also, sh with that sh being shout said, out oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. No, no, no. Oh, I just wanted to don't. shout out uh, some of the members of our team. Uh, Jeff uh, Belio, um, the 2D concept art lead. Uh, mm -hmm. He's the one who who drew that map and, and really, I think, made it pop. Uh, not really shown in there, but there's actually uh, different visuals depending on whether you've unlocked the region or whether it's locked, uh, unlocked, or completed. So you'll actually see the map visuals shifting as you actually uh, go through your journey in the Trials of the Realm. Uh, and then also Cam, um, mm -hmm. yeah. our Shout out to Cam. UI UX designer, uh, fantastic job on this as well, and programming from from Benjamin Fix. So thank you, yeah. all yeah. of our team. An amazingly talented team indeed. And with that said, more more talented pieces of work that we're going to get Ooh. into. I'll